Hi and welcome to my channel Look 10 Years Younger where I review various healthy ageing treatments, products and devices to let you know what works and what doesn't. So today I wanted to make a quick video about the gels that you would use with radio frequency and microcurrent devices. So this is a question that comes up a lot. A lot of you are asking which is the best one and can I use this and can I do that? So I thought I would make a video to you know answer your questions. So before we start, uh, microcurrent is totally different from radio frequency and they need different gels to go with each. So radio frequency is using heat to heat the lower layers of the dermis in order to stimulate production of collagen and elastin and it also gives you an instant skin tightening whereas microcurrent doesn't actually work on the surface of the skin it sends a very low current through the skin to your muscle in order to tighten the muscle and lift it up so one works on the skin and one is working on the muscle underneath they're two different things so the main difference between the gels and the you know different products you can get for microcurrent and radio frequency is that the microcurrent products will always contain salt. It will say sodium chloride or something like that, which is conductive. It makes the gel conductive so you know the current can pass through your skin. So that's the main difference between the two. So starting off with radio frequency. So when I originally had radio frequency in a clinic a couple of years back, they used uh, ultrasound gel, which is just water. It's just literally water which you put in your skin um, and it enables the probe to move over your skin, you know, really easily. So this one is called Anagel and I used this for a couple of years and it was absolutely fine. So this is water based, it doesn't contain anything really apart from water and a lot of you have made comments to say that when you use these kind of products they dry up, you have to keep applying them again and again and again and, and what can sometimes happen is that you get like a zapping feeling so as the gel is drying up it kind of makes your you know not an electric shock but kind of like you get zapping feeling so that's because this is drying up so it's maybe not the best to to use but it's probably the cheapest this is about six pound for a smaller bottle I got the bigger one because it, it was more economic but I don't really use it anymore then I reviewed the tripolar stop classic which is a radio frequency device a few months ago and that comes with its own a radio frequency gel in a pot so it's called the stop preparation gel and it's 50 milliliters so this is amazing so this is literally gravity defying um, you know it's 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 almost like tar it's really sticky to be honest it doesn't feel very comfortable to apply or to sit on your skin um, because it's so sticky and when your skin gets hot uh, it's not very comfortable but you don't need to keep reapplying it you just apply it once before you begin and then that will last the whole you know all the way through the treatment and then afterwards it washes off really easily with your cleanser but the only thing I would suggest is to apply it with a brush so you keep your hands clean so you can hold the device without making everything super uh, messy so this came with the device but you can buy this separately but it is £57, it's super, super expensive. So if you ask me the best radio frequency gel I would recommend, it's this one, it's a tripolar gel, but it's super expensive and I understand a lot of you will be thinking, I, I can't pay that. So when I looked at the ingredients, I realized the main ingredient is glycerin, okay? That's what is kind of stopping the product from drying. So then I tried to look at other products which contain glycerin. So you've got this, current body radio frequency gel and one of the ingredients in this is glycerin so it lasts longer than just using the water-based ones and I found this perfectly adequate so yeah I'll link this below as well but then I was thinking what if you're really on a budget or what if you just want to be a bit more economical and not keep buying these gels all the time so I bought pure glycerin on Amazon this was £10 and I will link this below there's two sources of glycerin it can be animal or it can be vegetable so this one is suitable for vegetarians and basically you, you need a really small amount just again apply it with a brush so everything doesn't get too messy apply it to your skin before you begin and this is it's not as good as the tripolar stop because this is more, obviously it's an oil and the other one is more like a thicker consistency but this is perfectly adequate and you can do your, your radio frequency, it doesn't dry up so definitely, you know, and it's cruelty free as well so and it's great for vegetarians so I definitely recommend this and this is now what I use for radio frequency, I actually use this and a lot of you ask whether you can use aloe gel 
for radio frequency? And the answer is yes, you can. They're water-based as well, so it will dry up. But you could definitely use one of these. I mean, I got this in the supermarket. It was very inexpensive. So yeah, if you want to use aloe gel or any other kind of gel you've got, absolutely fine. So now moving on to the microcurrent gels. So with microcurrent, a lot of you ask, can you use aloe gel? And yes, you can, but you just need to make it conductive. And you do that by adding a pinch of salt. So you need to put some in a bowl, uh, get a brush, add a really, really tiny bit of salt, mix it around and then apply it to your skin. When I tried to do that, it burned my skin like hell. It really, really hurt so much. So for me, uh, that's not an option. Maybe my skin is super sensitive, but I found that that was not comfortable for me. The New Face review, which I did over a year ago, this comes with a box when you buy New Face and it's called Gel Primer. So this, it stung a tiny bit, but you got used to it after a couple of weeks. This is 59 milliliters, it's really small. And when you want to rebuy this, it's actually 14 pound for this tiny little jar. So if you find this works for you and you have the budget, then you can definitely go for this. But again, I was thinking, well, how can you actually buy something bigger that will last longer and which will be more economical? So you've got this Silkin slider gel, which has hyaluronic acid in it, which is a, a bonus. And this, is, this comes with a Silken device, which is radio frequency and red light, which I reviewed recently. This contains sodium, which will make it conductive, but actually for, for that radio frequency device, it doesn't have to be conductive. So I'm a bit confused why they would put salt into it. But anyway, this I found for £9.90 online. Um, I'll try and link this below. So this is pretty inexpensive, but there's an even better option I found. So this is KSO microcurrent gel. So this only cost £9 on Amazon and this is 250 milliliters. So this is bigger, this has lasted me ages and ages, but I mean like all these products really, they to some degree they will sting your skin because they contain salt. So this contains collagen as well, but when you see these you know, microcurrent gels that contain secondary ingredients like collagen and hyaluronic acid, uh, don't pay too much attention to it because it's not going to be on your skin for long enough to make any difference. So if it's just a plain cheap gel and it doesn't sting your skin, just go for that. So hopefully you found this information helpful and I hope it will enable you to choose the right product for the right treatment that you're doing at home. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them below and definitely let me know whether you've got a product which you're using, which I haven't mentioned because that would be really interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.